Queen to bed. How long's this game going on for? I was going to do some more work tonight. I thought you'd given up writing in favor of industry. No, not on your life. Two and six. Oh, I failed. I'll see that. Hey, Nick, um, how do you get on with that bird I saw you with in Finchers? Watch it, Fred. He's a bit touchy on that subject. Oh, shut up. When he finally got round to chatting her up, she says she's not feeling it. Not feeling it? Lorna is a great girl, a fine background. She's got a brother in the Navy, an account at Harrods, and the longest legs in Earl's Court. She's been coming round here twice a day ever since. She says she's going to try and release the springs of his creative talent. She's here now. <coughs> Have a nice bath, dear. Mm, divine, thanks. And don't start moaning about the mess, because I've cleaned up absolutely everything. <sighs> I'll bet uh, ten. You really are going mad tonight, aren't you? He can afford it. He's got the love of a good woman. And he's going after a job in the morning. Executive in one of Britain's great industrial empires. He'll be nursing the fortunes of thousands of honest little investors. Yeah, all for about seven quid a week, I imagine. It'll ruin your creative talent. Oh, belt up. Well, they'll have you writing advertising copy for electric light bulbs or goldfish bowls or something. It's the first step on the downward path. Well, there's nothing to actually say I've got to get the job, is there? 